Hello there and welcome to Cory Loses, where today we are beginning a brand new preview playthrough in Fall of the Republic, uh, our Clone Wars mod for Star Wars Empire at War, Forces of Corruption. Uh, so this mod is not out quite yet. The open beta is starting on December 29th though, so depending on when you were watching this episode, uh, it may already be available. Uh, so the first episode is coming out today for anyone watching today, which is December 26th. Uh, the beta is coming out on December 29th, which is being run through our Discord server. I put up a video going over how that's going to be working. Uh, you can find more information on that if you watch that video or join the Discord server. And then the full public release will be shortly after that. But in these preview playthroughs, I try to just give a look at what we're currently working on, what the mod's current state is, and talk a bit about development of current stuff, but also looking forward to future versions. So there is a lot that's changed even since the playthrough that we just did is the Confederacy of Independent Systems that just ended, uh, but that was on a build that was like two or three months old at this point. So a lot of new stuff to look at before we get the beta out. Uh, so let's get started. We are going to be playing as the Galactic Republic. We'll play on hard and we're going to do a smaller map for this one. Uh, so, well, no, not that small. Still like 80 to 90 planets. We still need to do the text here. Uh, but yeah, so before I do start the game, uh, I'll wait just until the text has come up. With recent, control achieved. with recent events at Geonosis, it is regrettably my duty to inform you that the Republic is at war, Commander. The clone armies have been mobilized under the leadership of the Jedi. I trust you'll be able to handle the task of dealing with the threat of Count Dooku's separatists. So, uh, as I was saying, everything you are currently seeing is still a work in progress. Uh, we are close to beta, which means most of the content itself is done, but there will still be some bugs, still be some stuff in progress that needs to be worked on. Uh, but I'll, again, a lot has changed and a lot is going to change. So I'll try to talk through a lot of it. You may notice first off, uh, that there are these bars next to the planet. These track your planet influence, uh, makes it a bit easier to see at a glance. And this is a just a kind of a placeholder uh, image for it. We're still trying to figure out whether it works better as numbers or as a bar like that. So we're going to get some feedback on that during testing. Uh, but one last thing to mention before I get into the actual gameplay, though, is that for all these preview playthroughs on the channel, I have... Uh, custom named units. These don't show up in the released versions of the mods. They are simply a way that I thank the supporters of the channel. Uh, so people who are channel members, Twitch subs, and support uh, my work on Patreon. There's a link in the description if you would like to get a ship name in the playthrough. You can do that at any point during the playthrough except for if the last episode's already been recorded. Uh, but it could be anything from Architens to Carricks to Venators. Uh, they all have the names that were requested by the people who requested them. So thank you to all the people who are uh, supporters in that way. If you would like to become one, again, there's a link in the description with all the information for that. But we are going to play. So as you can see, the start of the game, the CIS is split up into five allied but distinct factions. You may hear a cat in this video. I'm watching my roommate's cat for him. Uh, so apologies. But uh, but yeah, so there is the Trade Federation, the Commerce Guild, the Techno Union, and the Intergalactic Banking Clan, uh, as well as the main CIS itself uh, run by the council. So these are factions that uh, eventually, as you're playing as the CIS, uh, will come together into one faction then when the AI is playing as them that'll happen as well though that is not coded in yet um, and basically the CIS starts with more territory as a whole uh, but because it's split into more factions it's a bit less coordinated uh, and they can't if it gets rolling enough it can mean that they have more of an advantage uh, because they have the like five different income streams so Especially with the capitals that provide like 2,000 credits. So it's all it all balances out as much as possible there. Uh, and this is actually the first playthrough we're doing with a lot of the ground changes that have started. So the new ground victory conditions, new ground balancing. 
So we'll see a lot of that as well. But I think what we want to start off with is getting the core more united. So we're going to take Jace Dallin's fleet from Rendili to Corellia. And let's queue up uh, Ollie, nerf this Phantom Strike, and Rise of the Recons. All right, this should be enough to take Duro. I want to just get somewhat established before uh, the CIS starts attacking. Because the attacks will start coming pretty fast because they're coming from 5 AI. Enemy forces ahead. Uh, you'll also see a bunch of new uh, space map graphics. So the map lighting and the planet models have been redone. I still want to do something else with the, uh, with the background nebula as well as these nebula. And we're going to be getting into some uh, some particle reworks as well. So stuff like the uh, the lasers, turbo lasers, death explosions, uh, death clones as well. Uh, that's all stuff that's going to start coming out in. Uh, further updates. So when the mod releases, that's not going to be it for the mod. Uh, we are going to go for regular updates. If you play our Imperial Civil War mod, uh, then we do monthly updates with that, basically. We haven't had one in the last month because we've been working on finishing the Fall of the Republic beta, but with both mods, we want to get to doing basically every month or every other month having a pretty sizable upgrade or update mission log updated uh that's just our faction information so this is actually the first time we've played the republic on the channel since the uh government mechanics have gone in so with the republic uh the main thing is our standard approval rating so that is calculated based off of some missions we'll be doing as well as an average value of all our planner influence I'll actually just give the the week a chance to tick over so we can see what the planet influence will be. And you know what? Let's grab some clones and Plo Koon so we can use uh, right one of the Legion skins. But yeah, so there we have our influence. You can see on Coruscant it's higher. Uh, you can see the enemy influence as well because you'll be able to interact with enemy influence. Uh, but yeah, so it takes the average value of the influence and adds that to some other modifiers, and that's your Senate approval. Uh, and that's going to cause a few other events. Uh, right now, the main one is that you get to choose to support either Palpatine or the Delegation of 2000. Uh, supporting Palpatine gets you some Imperial tech. It also gets the Order 66 events. Uh, so that's probably what we're going to be Mission doing log. in this playthrough, because that is the more complete one right now. Uh, but yeah, so... We'll hopefully get a few of those missions sooner than later, but... You okay, Moana? All right, I'm not sure where she went. Uh, but yeah, so we'll hopefully get a few of those missions. You have a chance to get them at the end of every week. Uh, there's a minimum wait time between them and a minimum uh, or a maximum amount of time between them as well. So if you don't get one for eight weeks, then you are guaranteed to get one. And they're, they're basically right now very simple stuff that's uh, an adaptation of the uh, the base yes. game intervention missions from Empire there. War. Voices are still something that are being worked on. The CIS has most of theirs, but Haynes is doing uh, Republic. Uh, hopefully I got your name right that time. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but the Republic is something he has just moved to working on. So there will be uh, some that are correct, some that are not. And I'm going to try to do my best to get them ported over to the playthrough Choose as he does them. Heading so I understand. we'll see how that goes. But because we have Flo Koon here, our clones, instead of just being regular clone troopers, are of the 104th Legion. And there will be uh, documentation in-game on who gives you what. But right now there's the uh, I'm with you. We've located I'm the enemy. 104th. The 501st, ooh, there's a lot of enemy troops there. The 501st and 212th? Come on. Start 
Sonic kill sweep. Stay close to me. I'm going. On my way. May the Get force be with me. Be right there. Right. Got it. All right. We got some support I'm from here. a lot now. Let me help you. Uh, the tanks are driving towards a lot of hovercraft. We've given the ability to go uh, backwards and forwards, but the sad thing with Empire at War is that it doesn't really understand what that means. Like it, it knows that it can go backwards and forwards. It doesn't generally know whether it should prefer one or the other. Uh, because uh, with a lot of stuff, it. They're a lot more maneuverable than they'd be if they could just go one direction. And it makes sense for them to be able to strafe back and forth like that. This is definitely one of the more claustrophobic, ma claustrophobic maps. You are most assuredly not Commander Skywalker. All right, our clones are here. They come in uh, five squads per company with one squad of dedicated anti-vehicle, four squads of just regular. Uh, ooh, I don't know if you're gonna live. But yeah, uh, one squad of anti-tank. We used to have those mixed in and that's currently how it is in Imperial Civil War as well. Uh, so that we've moved towards this way of doing it. So we'll see how that ends up going. All right, let's get uh, some of the vehicles forward. Oh shit! I did not see that. All right, uh, this is gonna be kind of difficult. We have two AV, AA, yeah. AA turrets here. Hello. All right, clones. Don't worry about the duros. Okay, let's get a landing pad now. So some of the maps you may have noticed at the start of the battle, there was a little bit of text up here. Uh, there are going to be different ways to win ground battles. Different, uh, sometimes main goals, sometimes side goals. You'll have. Uh, that'll hopefully be a bit more in depth than just the uh, like destroy the enemy civilians type stuff. Uh, right now, the main one is that there's a victory point kind of condition where instead of having to kill all enemy units, you'll be asked to take a specific point. And just like with the galactic levels right now, it's going to be fairly simple, but it's going to be something that we try to upgrade and update uh, or do more with each time we do a new release. So it's just about 0 0.5 is mostly about getting the basic systems in place and as solid as we can. And then with uh, 0 0.6 through 1.0, we'll get... Uh, as much fleshed out as possible. All right. Juggernauts are kind of like ground SSDs. Uh, they're not quite as strong as they were in our CIS playthrough or our last Republic playthrough, but they are still quite good. All right, all these lived. Swamp speeders. The juggernaut is going to be especially good on this map just because of how narrow it is. Like it's just narrow enough to actually let it pass through, or just wide enough to let it pass through, but just narrow enough that it'll run over like everything. Don't don't worry about trying to shoot them. I don't know if we've done anything directly to turret stats with uh, the ground balancing reworks Bob was doing. 
I think it was mostly focused on the units. Like, there was projectile changes and damage and armor changes. But in terms of, like, cost and... Uh, range and all that, I don't think they were touched yet. Let me help you. I'll be there. All right, well, they're distracted. How can I help you? We've marked the landing zone. All right. We've secured a landing zone. Honestly, not one of my favorite maps in the mod. One of the older ones, but... And... Whoa... Poor civilians. We are victorious. Here we go. Duros who think they're Mandalorians. A lot of the civilian are still being or civilians are still being dealt with. Uh, both text wise and uh, in general in Imperial Civil War and Fall of the Republic. Enemy fleet uh, approaching. I'm not sure why that stopped showing up in the top. Like there's those notifications are supposed to show up in your newsfeed. Uh, so we're gonna have to check on that Tactical battle imminent. Uh, it's gonna be difficult to hold some of these planets in space I think we might have to just go for ground uh, in some places Beginning construction especially these more isolated corners uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to hold on a magnet there they are. Blast them. All right, one acclimator versus four munificence and a recusant. I, th I think we got this. Y wing standing by. Cruiser here, navigating. I'm gonna try to move. What are your orders? Your orders? Reporting in. Or carrier back Bombers there. Because the without the fighter upgrades, uh, you can get upgrades to, or it's not implemented yet, but uh, you'll be Bombers able to get upgrades in. to have like. Vulture droids and hyenas on the like the clamp to the hull of the munificence and recusants, but Roger that. until that's actually in, Target those lasers. we might be able to do some damage to one of these guys with our uh, fighters and bombers. We don't really have that many, so it's not great. Like there's, they're meant to be extra damage to like put your ships over the top. But I don't know if we'll be able to get off enough passes to do enough damage here. Can I get? The yeah, like I was saying, the uh, aside from individual model upgrades, uh, which we try to throw in with every release, uh, the next main project as far as space graphics is the ah! stuff like the particles. Changing course to intercept. Crews are online. All right, shields are down. Can we Copy. please take the engines? Get the engines? Target the primary engines. They don't really have any anti-fighter with this fleet, so. Other than the recusance lasers, which are farther up there. Regroup for another Space attack. Station under attack. Ready. I call, babe. The range on the recusance is much higher too. This is a regular unit, so let's see if that script is set up right now. I haven't tested it in a while. No. Prepare for jump to hyperspace. They're coming in quick. Uh. 
Maybe if I come back with the other fleet from the next planet over? Oh well. I did say we'd need to make some sacrifices. Where are you approaching? Duro? You're, you're gonna attack Duro with this fleet? You're gonna attack Duro with this fleet. Okay. Um, well, yeah, we have like curling corvettes, but who cares? All right, well, let's see. The enemy is approaching. All the fighters they don't have in this fleet will be in danger. All the fighters we don't have in this fleet will would be in danger. Well, we do have a pretty good commander in Dali. And by pretty good, I mean lowest tier possible. Heavy cruiser standing by. All right. Rindilly fleet. Captain here. Defend Duro for us. Your orders, sir. Okay, let's see if we can take the Providence while it's off on its own. I copy. Torpedoes armed. Orders, sir. For the Empire. Those torpedo launchers must be destroyed. God, I, I'm gonna just try to defend it from space or from ground. No. I've been hit. I've got them in my sight. Ugh. Oh, it's rough. All right. Let's see if we can get at least some of this. Oh wait. Okay, they don't think they can. Receiving location. That's good. Understood. Construction complete. Uh, I kind of want. Enemy fleet approaching. Where are you coming in, Quell? Uh, Quell will probably have to be a sacrifice for us. I'm not going to turn on Cruel AI yet, until we're a bit more established. I don't think I even turned it on in the last playthrough. Uh, the starting forces are one of the things that definitely needs a pass still. Alright, Clanka Unit Killer, Dread Many, Jim Brenlo, Existential Dreadnought. Shield of Rendelli. So we get Venator Research at uh, week 11? I think it's 11. I'm pretty sure it's 11. Alright, let's try to get Enemy fleet approaching. let's try to get Forost. Tactical battle imminent. Quill Roche. I, I might send some of this just up to hmm, to Contrim so we can secure the core. We're probably going to be playing from the core outwards. The enemy has been spotted. Choose your reinforcements. All right. Navigating. I'm just going to put in our regular acclimators. Confirmed. The hyperspace sounds are probably going to get reverted. Uh, they're just something he was playing with. Reinforcements uh, en route. Reinforcements en route. Moving Carrick. To Pax Let's Republica. Go. Pizza time. We'll Ramming Moving speed. Up. Democracy War will start, and obedience. Like, until we get the Venators, even when we get the Venators, we're going to be fairly Reporting. focused on our acclimators and carriers and stuff. So, 
Hitting the ion cannon banks. This could be a really bad idea. Ready for command, sir. Alright, let's see if we can ready for battle. Get any of this from the front. And are these all carrier loadouts? They are. But I think we should have some Yeah, some assault loadouts as well. Destroy the torpedo launchers. And the Invincibles have good damage, it's just the they're not the most durable units in the world. Roger that. Course set. Form up. Alright, let's try to stop their fighters. Arcs. Y wings. More enemy craft. I've been hit. Coming back on the run. Come about. Getting a lock. Target locked. Ready, sir. Excellent shot. Roger Taking that. Fire. Our target priority is the laser cannons. Form up. The lasers are our target. Commander, they're our hitting us. Our target priority is the laser. Right, your shields are almost down, so you may as well just start. Confirmed. The Power to weapons. Are Ready to go, sir. Focus fire on the weapon banks. Yes, sir. Right, y wings weapon onto strike. the recusant, and I'm going to try to hit their duels. Copy. I got Where'd he go? <laughs> Attacking. Fire for maximum effect. I'm losing. Reporting. Uh, nowhere to run. The lasers are our target. We should have an advantage the here, especially if we focus destroyed. better than they do. But draw their fire. I've got one on me. Ah. It's still probably going to be some losses. The laser banks are your primary target. Go after the stragglers. I just want to get some victories in before uh, before we start having to fight subjugators. Alright. Those main turrets. Commander, they're hitting us. Reporting ah! nowhere to run. Crews are online. Falling out of formation. Move to attack. I got one. Okay. Need help. I think Ready. that's... Locking on. I've been hit. I think that's all... That's all good now. Reporting. Your order, sir. Another attack. Right away. What are your orders? You can still keep going back. Come about. Okay, there. there. Crews are standing by. We've gone through their main lines. So as long as we can get the uh, recusant main weapons, then we're good. Alright. Good, good. Attack ah! Those I have I need help. Ah! Y wing squadron reporting. Ah! All right, you've gone the through the shields on that one. I got one on me. Go after the the ah! the 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 like recusants are really good at long range damage, but if you can, can engage them close enough, uh, they're firing arcs. Can get a little bit messed up. Uh, usually you have to get really close to them for that, but they're a lot more fragile than if they have like a Providence protecting them. Or a Lucre Hulk especially. Especially because in those situations, especially early game before they get the research in, uh, they don't have as many fighters to use in fleets that are heavy on recusants and munitions. When they have Providences and Lucre Hulks or even Subjugator around, they'll end up having a lot more fighters around. But let's get our... Bombers... All over to that if we can. Do we have any... Yeah, we do have the arcs. Yeah. Can't see him. Grr. Stay in formation. I lost him. I got I got on me. The lasers are our target. Taking yeah, fire. you can see the. Ready, sir. I've detected. Yes, I got one on Enemy me. Forces sighted. Commander, they're hitting us. Get behind them. 
Locking on. Uh, I have you can back. see the fighters Roger get uh, kind of range. shredded uh, by some uh, recusant lasers in there. Alright. I've been working for like the last 12 hours getting ready for the playthrough and getting ready for the beta, so I apologize if I'm not making the most sense right now. But hopefully, it won't result in too many losses. It probably will result in at least that loss, but uh, we're we're gonna have to just focus down here and fight all the way to the shipyard. Falling out of formation. Where are their garrisons? Can't tell. Alright, you can back off then. And I'd like you to try to back off. The lasers are our target. Our target priority is the laser cannons. Coming back around for another. Our lasers have been destroyed. The lasers are our target. Reporting. Primary engine system is No! Target sighted. Poor vanilla death clone of the accumulator. Yeah, so with stuff like Death Clones, we we tend to wait until we're pretty confident we're not going to be updating a model again. Uh, and even then, with stuff like the ISD, we ended up doing it and then redoing the ISD model for the next release. So we are going to start making our way through those Death Clones soon. Uh, I'd like to get the at least the main ships for each faction to have uh, their Death Clones by the first release but it'll probably be a fairly uh, broad project that takes a while between releases right, this character survived, the Invincible survived there's a lot to fight through there okay. we're gonna need to help out ramming speed We've lost our launch our target bay. priority Reporting. is the laser cannons. Attacking. There we go. Awaiting orders. Fire. Moving to that area. Our target priority is the laser cannons. Draw their fire. I can't see him. Alright. Without Draw. bombers, they're not doing too much to the station or to the shipyard Attack there. Formation. But it looks like we got them. Go after the stragglers. Techno Union is going out. Normally in Imperial Civil War, I'd do a poll in the comments on which faction we should attack first. And last time I did a poll on which faction we should incorporate first uh, as the CIS. But, okay, we lost Pax Republica and four acclimators. But, uh... Construction. Right now, I really think we need to focus on just getting the, the core secured... Well, I, I'm going to just retreat, but I do want to make sure I actually retreat rather than auto-resolve. Enemy unit sighted. One of the things I was trying to make sure we did with the uh, with the planet model reworks is make sure stuff was still readable in game. It's a bit laggy because it's on fast forward still, uh, but make sure stuff was readable in game because I'll, in a lot of places they end up being kind of obstructive to what's in front of the the ships or the planets, so you can't really see what's going on as easily. And so that was, that was the main thing we wanted to try to avoid with them. Uh, and I, I think complete. for all the stuff that I've played on so far, I think we've managed to uh, to do that. Stockpile credits. Uh, we, the budget office has projected a shortfall this quarter. We must plan accordingly. Completing this event will increase Senate approval by two, and we'll get two dreadnoughts. I'm actually not sure if the rewards work, uh, but the Senate approval alone is going to be really good. We need to get to 65 to start the main stuff. So we need to increase our planet influence, uh, which is the main thing. But we also, uh, if we can do like eight missions like that, 
that would also get us, even if we stayed with the same average influence, 265. Um, so we'll try to do that, but right now we're going to be spending a lot of our money on uh, trying to build stuff up for defense. That shouldn't show up on defense, so I'll there need to Come on. do that. I only tested it on offense, which there is a bit of an oversight. Let's go. Let's do this. We've secured a landing zone. Pour our brothers. All behind me. There we go. There we go. Come on. Charge. Stay together. Posing rage. Let's go. All right, I'm going to try something possibly kind of sneaky here. All right, let's get repair and anti-vehicle for that. Anti-infantry. Our main defense is going to be at the base. But I'm going to try, I'm going to try to take the landing pads and cut them off from reinforcements. So I may as well grab the ones that are close to us as well. Now we can go the rest of the way. If you tell them to just go here, they would have flown around that way. Look, sir, it's them. Oh, Droidica. Bring him back here. Oh, it's a kerfuffle. Right, just get out of there. Sorry, clones. All right, we've at least stopped that landing zone. All right, there might be hope. Those are anti-vehicle vehicles. Let's Ooh, especially this. if I just send you back. Alright, there's no hope. Right, let's get out of there. Get back home. Come on! Follow behind me! Stay together. Let's go. Ah! What's your trip up? Depending on how split up they are when we get to them, we Let's might be able to do this with uh, our TX Sabery boys. Oh, they got another landing zone. At least they are only getting one. Okay, let's uh There we go. Now let's back off. Reinforcement point contested. And you know what? Lost a landing zone. Just in case they go for another one. Because this feels like it's going to be a bombing run from them. Oh, Hellfires. Which aren't rapid fire anymore. Yep, there's them. It's still getting tested a lot, but... Overall, ground battles should feel a lot better, even just with 
the preliminary work that's kind of been done. On top of the stuff like the uh, the changes for uh, for the goals in the battle, the victory conditions. Get out of there. there we go. Closing range. There we go. No. Sonic kill switch. Going in sight. Now. Repair station constructing. Stay together. Let's go. I've got you. Let's get your buff. Covering fire. Go. Let's do this. And that is the the new Hailfire model too. So I should have called that out, but either way, they're killing us all. All right, you're healed or healing. You're at least healed enough to go out and fight the Hailfires. All right, uh, get in there. Here come the battle droids. Okay, ATRTs. Well, you should heal up first. Bring in the ATPTs. Alright, lat. Okay, ATRTs are ready. Sprint him on back. I don't think we have any anti vehicle clones in this company anymore. But, okay. You're back to full. Down there. Okay, Renvar has been defended. I think we're going to be able to hold on to the planet if we can keep doing that if they're if they're going to attack. Wait, Banking Clan out of Renvar? Hold on. Okay, so they decided that was their easiest target was to go through because they can pass through each other's territory. It's just, just like how uh, corruption works. That's how that's handled. Uh, let's get to Contrum, and I'm going to try to build up the Calamari Quell. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that twice, but... Let's try to hold the corners. This is usually a hard planet to assault because you could just get rushed, but the uh, the turbo laser being there makes that a bit different in a mod. Okay, let's try to go when they're Full pop Because they didn't actually capture the turbo laser. They did run over our soldiers. Well. The turbo laser and the fact that dropships can shoot. Okay, we're in. Alright, they won't be able to land stuff, but those 
Droidica are an issue. All right. Can I help? Now we just gotta try to make sure they don't get another landing zone. Let's do this. Now. More weird EAW shadow rendering. Four out brothers. Going in. All right. I think we got this. We probably won't be able to do it twice because we did lose that company of saber tanks. But I think if we can build up uh, more ground infrastructure, we'll be able to do it. The downside of getting attacked on ground even when you win, though, is that uh, ground and space invasions reduce your loyalty on those planets for two cycles or two weeks. So that does drive down our income a bit. Either way, uh, I think we're probably going to leave our first episode there. It's, uh, it's going to be a a rough go at the start here. We'll probably start off with invading Forost. Uh, Forost, Vulpter, and Fondor would be really good to have because that's uh, three level three or four shipyards for us. Uh, we are limited in how many Praetors we can make. You are limited to three right now. Um, so having a bunch of level four shipyards just really means higher garrisons. But once they're kicked out of the core, uh, we'll be able to defend ourselves a little bit better. Either way, there should be two more episodes this week i haven't done a final video schedule for the week i'm kind of just taking the holidays as they go but hope you guys are enjoying your holidays hope you're enjoying this series so far uh remember if you would like to get a patron ship name in the playthrough the information is in the description there i appreciate any consideration with that but thanks for watching hope to see you next time bye everyone